The mighty Mississippi River is the source of much American folklore. It's also provided generations with food and drinking water. But now, like so many of our nation's rivers, it's dying from chemical dumping. It's difficult for any one person to imagine that he or she can do much to help solve such an immense problem. But we've discovered that one person can make a difference in cleaning up the Mississippi and rivers like it. It's a crusade we began months ago and continue today. Along with its tributaries, the Mississippi River drains more than a million square miles, runs through 33 states and two Canadian provinces, and provides water and food to 20 million Americans. But the Mississippi is a river in trouble, especially the lower part of the river. There are more toxic waste discharged in the Mississippi River between Baton Rouge and New Orleans than in the remainder of the United States. Dr. Paul Tomplay is a professor of environmental studies at Louisiana State University. He says there's a long list of chemicals being dumped into the Mississippi. A lot of acids, uh, weak acids like phosphoric acid, sulfuric acid, hydrochloric acid, PCBs, DDTs, heavy metals, they find those in the river. 150 million to 200 million pounds of toxic chemicals. That's not all of them, that's just the toxic chemicals. So we made it our crusade to help clean up the Mississippi. We found the Riverkeeper program on the Hudson, another historic American river. It puts a person in a boat on the water to gather evidence against polluters so they can be legally forced to stop polluting. We brought Hudson Riverkeeper John Cronin down to Baton Rouge to meet with Mary Lee Orr of the Louisiana Environmental Action Network. So the river is sending us a message, but I guess it's sending us a message to get more river keepers. Cronin told Mary Lee how to set up an effective river keeper program, how one person with the support of the community can make these giant corporations clean up their act. They're not going to do it on their own. So what you got to do is you got to put the law in their face and say, we're here to enforce the law. The rule of law is what we all have to obey. And that's what we try and do in the river keeper project. And to make the Riverkeeper program a reality, there's one vital tool that's needed, a boat. The Crusaders talked to numerous American boat manufacturers and convinced Sportcraft to donate a boat to the Mississippi Riverkeeper program. Owner Joe Roberts and VP of Sales and Marketing Doug Trammell showed Mary Lee around their Perry, Florida plant. Thank you. And here are your keys. <gasps> wow. And keep thanks. up the good work and have a great time with that Sportcraft, which Everybody does. <laughs> Thank you. And I have an official River Keeper shirt. Oh, boy. All right. Because, after all, this is a partnership, and right. you are all helping us take back the river and help it keep it clean for, for ourselves and for future generations. We're very proud to be part of the team and the effort, and uh, we'll wear this in good health. And uh, again, thank you. <laughs> oh, boy. Thanks. Hi, John, Sue. <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome. Thanks. Bless you. Bless you both. I'm so grateful. As the workers at Sportcraft continue building the Riverkeeper boat, Mary Lee is busy laying the groundwork for the day when the new Riverkeeper makes their way along the Mississippi, on a journey to clean up an important part of our lives, a journey we'll document when the boat is launched in a few months. I think Mark Twain might smile again if we can help clean up the river. He'd be very happy to see that boat. It is truly a symbol of hope for us. When we launch that boat, the splash will be heard up and down the Mississippi River. The boat donated to the Mississippi Riverkeeper program by Sportcraft is worth about $20,000. We'd also like to thank Mercruiser for contributing an $8,000 engine. Because of the generosity of these companies, our crusade has taken a major step toward healing the Mississippi River. <laughs>